Good evening and welcome to the Civic Center in Cornerbrook. I'm Chris Green and tonight the Central West Coast Senior Hockey League presents the Cornerbrook Royals at home against the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts. Should be a good one. These two teams looking to get on the win board, of course. This is a special night at the Civic Center. This is the annual Teddy Toss that is going to be taking place. And that is held in conjunction with the Cornerbrook Fire Department's toy drive and the Salvation Army. What is going to happen is this. When the Royals score their first goal, the teddy bears will come flying out of the stands onto the ice to be collected. So we will uh, have somewhat of a delay when those uh, teddies are tossed onto the ice. And the thing about it is, uh, we're not gonna break away. I'll just uh, let the pictures describe themselves as the toys are gonna be tossed into the ice and then collected. So that could be a, a delay of the game of anywhere, we'll say 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Right now, it's Major Brian Wheeler of the Salvation Army speaking, will join with his speech. Much worthy uh, women there in regard to their jobs as nurses at Thank Western you, Memorial Regional Hospital. And also, if you forward your attention to Section Q on this way, some of their comrades from the Federal Period are in attendance as guests of the corporate royals. I can echo those same words from Leo Bruce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to stand for the singing of the O to Newfoundland, sung this evening by Mr. Keith Corbier.
For those that are not familiar with the Ode to Newfoundland, it was Newfoundland's national anthem before Confederation. Defend the gold to our left. They're into whites with the blue and red trim. The Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts defend the gold to our right. They're in their greens with the white trim. Starting goaltenders for tonight for the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts, it's going to be Curtis Barrett. He's got a goals against average sparkling at 4.00. His save percentage also great at 8.97. And for the Quinnipiac Royals, It'll be Luke House in goal. His goals against average is 4.96. His save percentage is 8.69. For the Quinnipiac Royals, it'll be Jordan King between Andrew Smith and Andrew Handel. Nathan King between Mike Normore Wells and Colby House. Jordan Freak between Mac Holborn and Josh Smith. Tommy Ryan between Tyler Hunt and Clay King. On defense, Adam Guy, Zach Applin, Cam Allaby. Lucas Fabiacci and Kyler Brown. Luke Hostigoli is back up, Ian Wolfrey. For the Cats, it'll be Jordan Marr between Cody Drover and Ethan Sims. Nick Fitzgerald between Luke Deering and John Coffey. Jasper Dix between Kyle King and Greg Edgar. Brandon Dewar between Travis Companion and Dave Byrne. The defense, Tyler Weeks, Nathan Holt, Travis Gale, Travis Winter, Corey Brent, Andrew Pierce, Curtis Barrett between the pipes, Tyler Whiffin, the backup, and we're underway. And the Royals on the right side. Smith shooting it in, trying to find King in the corner, goes around the goal. And we got a penalty right away to the Cataracts as the Royals with six attackers shot right on, and it just bounced wide of the goal. Play is called. And we got a slash interference call. Make sure here at 24 seconds, interference is the call. And getting the gate for the cataracts will be Nathan Hull. Royals power play. And from the face off. Guy at the right point. Passing over. Passed into the corner. Back to Guy at the left point. Alibi into the corner. Centered. Smothered. And play is called. Checking the Royals on the uh, power play. They're at 28.9%. Cataracts on the PK, whoa, 40%. Could be susceptible to that. Got to stay out of the penalty box. Guy passing into the corner. Controlled by the Royals. Antle back to the point. Shot is blocked. Shot again, deflects it in front. Oh, just fired wide again and smothered by Barrett. Play is called. So the Royals 
with a couple of good opportunities on the power play. Cataracts decide to change them up. And the faceoff will be to the left of the Cataracts goal. King will take the faceoff for the Royals. And from that faceoff, it's backhanded down the ice by Dix. Guy being impressed by Dix behind the net. Doing a diligent job of penalty killing there for the Cataracts. Long lead pass to King on the right wing. King shooting it around the boards. Back to the point. Guy passing behind the goal. Antle. Back to Guy. Over to Alibi. The shot right on. Smothered. And play is called. As Barrett has been busy on this early Royals power play. 47 seconds left. With the man advantage, 137 gone in this first period, and we're scoreless. Face off to the right of the Cataracts goal. It'll be Byrne for the Cataracts taking the face off. And it's won by the Royals. Guy at the right point, passing over. Off the boards. Broken up, and the puck comes out the center ice. And the Royals trying to move it in. Alibi shot right on. Big rebound off a stick and out of harm's way for the Cataracts. 22 seconds left in the power play. Guy passing over. And Freak on the right side heading towards goal. He's behind the net. Tries to centering a pass, but it's broken up. Ends up behind the Cataracts goal. And here come the Cataracts, short-handed. They'll shoot it down the ice as the penalty has just expired and the Cataracts are back to full strength. The Royals 0 for 1 on the power play. Puck along the boards and ahead as the Royals continue to press. But it's going to be the Cataracts who will bring it out on the left wing. A pass broken up. At the Royals blue line, and they'll swing away two on five. But the Cataracts are there to make sure. And here they come, across the blue line. Centering pass, and that's broken up. Drover with that pass there. And the Cataracts pressing, but denied. And here come the Royals. They're going to dump it in. Head banked off the boards. Teams are battling for it in the corner. Lead pass. Flipped high and out to neutral ice. Antle passing back to the blue line. Tipped in and the Royals decide to make a change. And likewise the Cataracts. As we played over three and a half minutes of this first period, there's no score. Ooh, a dangerous cross ice pass. Player fell. And it's tied up along the boards. It's free. Centered, they score! And here come the Teddy Bears. Look at the ball. So Antle from Jordan King and Smith at 3.45. It's one nothing for the Royals, and we're going to have a bit of a delay and uh, let you enjoy the sights and sounds of the teddy bear toss here at the Civic Center as both teams collect the teddy bears on behalf of the Salvation Army and the Quarterbrook Firefighters.
Well, we hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of the annual teddy bear toss here at the Quarterbrook Civic Center. Royal scoring at 3.45 of the first period. And there's something I saw tonight that you don't see too often. Both teams and the two referees and two linesmen agreeing on doing something, collecting the teddy bears. Good job done. And they're and the Royal saluting the crowd for their fantastic contribution of the teddy bear toss. And we're underway, and the cataracts are breaking out. In front, oh, that hit the post. A great opportunity for the cataracts to tie it up by John Coffey. And here come the Royals. It's behind the cataracts goal. Centered, broken up. And Coffey for the Cataracts, crossing center, shooting it in to the Royal zone. Shot around the boards, not out. Wicks looking for Coffey behind the net, in front, intercepted. And here come the Royals. King trying to split the defense. He does! Shot! Saved by Barrett. He thought it was behind him. And a glorious chance. Up in front again! And King denied. Goes through the slot area, back to Guy, shot off a stick, off the end glass. Allaby trying to find his forward, but Guy will keep the puck in the zone, and it's shot around. Cataracts flipping it out, looking for a line change, and here come the Royals trying to catch them. A shot, score! Like I said, they tried to catch the cataracts in the line change. They were successful. At five minutes even, the Royals take a 2-0 lead. House scoring. That kind of handcuffed Barrett, to be fair to him, that you could hear it go off the cataract stick and into the net. Colby House makes it 2-0. Unassisted marker. From the faceoff, cataracts. Trying to press. It's behind the goal. Back to the point. Shot. Blocked. Kicked into the faceoff circle, but the Royals will get possession and bring it out. Shot in by Nathan King. Alibi again. Shot. That's blocked. Can they catch the man on the stretch pass? No. Broke it up. Shot back in by Nathan King. And Royals made a change. Here come the Cataracts on the right wing. Stops, turns, has a look, hits a leg, bounces in front. And where is it? Oh, that went into the netting. Okay. Or was hit with a high stick? Faceoff comes outside the blue line. So, I'm going to suspect it went off a of royal stick and into the netting. And the faceoff's outside the blue line. And from the faceoff, Royals trying to move it on the left wing. Broken up by Brent. Shot, stopped by Barrett. And the Cataracts. Trying to make an odd man rush here. Crossing the Royals blue line. It's a three on three, a shot. Blocked in front. And the Royals will bring it out on the right wing. Again, that's broken up at center ice. And for the Cataracts, it's passed over. Shot in, but the Royals decide to change him up by shooting it into the Cataract zone. Brent. Passing over on the right wing, and it's into the cataract bench. Players call. 6.37 gone in this first period. 2-0 lead for the Quarterbrook Royals. and goals by Antle at 3.45 in house at five minutes even. Face off outside the blue line of the cataracts. And from the face off. 
Applin was a pass that went astray. No. Thought it might have been an icing call. Shot around the goal. And for the Cataracts, champion passing ahead, broken up. Nice collision there at center ice. And Applin will pass over. Broken up by Hull off the boards. Another nice hit there. This time by Ryan. Royals will change him up. And the Cataracts will lug it out. Here's Weak Wicks. Shot. That's off the trapper. Wicks pinching in. And centered. Broken up. Off the glass. Out the center. And here come the Cataracts. It's Coffee. Shot pad save. Big rebound. And the Cataracts pressing here. That hit the goaltender. Trying to bank it in off. House the goaltender of the Royals. And that is shot out the center. And it's picked up by Smith. He's breaking in on the left wing. Tied up along the boards. Trying to get it in front. Ends up behind the goal. And the Cataracts will bank it off the boards. As chasing after it is Alibi. He's being pursued by the Cataracts player Fitzgerald. And they bring it out. Here's this chance for the Royals going in. Stopped by Barrett. Oh, what a save. Shot from the point. That's off the end glass. Five players behind the goal. Referee is saying to the Cataracts player to move it. Winter. And it's Cataracts will bring it out and shoot it in and start a line change. Likewise, the Royals. Nine minutes gone, first period, 2 nothing Royals. Lead pass at center on the right wing, passing around. And here come the Cataracts on the right wing, brought down and a penalty coming up to the Royals. And play is called. So the Cataracts will get their uh, first power play of the night. And getting the gate for the uh, Royals for holding at 9.23 will be Fabiacic. Face off to the right of the Royals goal. It's controlled by the Cataracts. Wrist shot, that's off a leg. And the Royals with a short-handed opportunity. Crossing the blue line, hanging on. Passing back, killing time. Applin for the Royals. His pass hits a stick, but the Royals do shoot it down the ice. Cataracts on the power play, 30%. Royals penalty killing, 70.5%. 122 left in the Cataracts power play. Trailing 2 0. Here's the pass. Oh, he just tipped it wide. He had a wide open net. The Cataracts player, Fitzgerald, sorry, Fitzpatrick. Sorry. No, it is Fitzgerald. <laughs> and here come the Cataracts. They're breaking out. Three of them on the power play. And a great defensive play there by the Royals, Alibi. 50 seconds left. And the Cataracts power play, and here they go. Four of them across the blue line. And a... Yeah. <laughs> the Cataracts are gonna get nabbed for too many men on the ice. At 10.42. And that's gonna end the power play. I was looking at it, and I saw six cataracts out there. Six gators. They said, what, the Royals getting another penalty? I don't see the referee's arm out. And uh, up to indicate the Royals were going to get a penalty. And I see Barrett is still in the goal. You can't play with seven. You can only play with uh, six. Too many men, cataracts being served by Andrew Pierce. 
So that's it for the power play. Both teams will play a man short for 41 seconds, and then the Royals will have their second power play of the night, barring any other infractions. And from the faceoff. In the slot area, banked off the boards and out. Royals controlling here. And this four on four, and Ryan pushes it into the cataract zone and heads to the bench on a line change. And swinging away for the cataract's Jewer. His pass went astray. Alibi, he is checked. Jewer is knocked down. And out comes the Royals King. Crossing the blue line on the right wing. Pass in the slot. Shot blocked. And shot down the ice. Cataracts are short handed, so there's no icing. 108 left in the Royals power play. Both teams changing them up. Royals setting up their power play unit and the Cataracts with their PK unit. And here come the Royals on the right wing. It's Smith to King. Passed in front, broke it up, wristed down the ice. 48 seconds left in the power play for the Royals, who are leading 2-0. Pass around and slowed down by Alibi. He'll pass to the left wing, getting it back. Now he elects the right side over to King. Crossing the blue line, in deep, around the goal, looking for Guy at the left point. Over to Alibi, into the corner. Back to Alibi, wrist shot, and that's off the end glass. Steered to one side, but the Cataracts get possession and shoot the puck down the ice. That was uh, Tyler Hunt doing that. Deed for the Cataracts. Short-handed. Five seconds left in the power play for the Royals. 7.20 to go in this first period. Cataracts. Off the boards, down the ice. Right to the blue paint. That is no icing. And the Royals have got to play it. And being harassed. House has to shovel the puck into the corner. Bounce, ro twirling puck at center ice. It's corralled. Offside. Royals play is called. 6.51 to go in this first period. 2 nothing. Royals leading. They're 0 for 2 on the power play. Cataracts 0 for 1. The two goals, Antle uh, for the Royals at 345 and House, that's Colby House, for the uh, Royals at five minutes even. Face off outside the blue line of the Cataracts. And at center, Brown passing over. Ryan passing over. This pass, well, the pass is intercepted, shot down the ice, and that's icing because the uh, cataract player was not across the uh, center red line. Well, we got the teddy bear toss out of the way very early at 3.45 of the first period. By the way, if the Royals were held off the score sheet for two periods, that teddy bear toss would have taken place during the second intermission. And from the faceoff shot, stick save by Barrett into the netting. Play is called. They'll do it again to the right of the Cataracts goal. Taking the faceoff for the uh, Cataracts is Marr. It's Jordan Marr. And for the Royals, it was Smith. Back to the point, wrist shot blocked by Barrett in front. Another shot, rebound. Barrett making the save again. And it's off the end glass. And the Cataracts will lug it out on the left wing. Lead pass broken up. And the Royals, they're checked at center. Quarters are close between the blue lines. Along the boards, again. Both teams are going to change them up as for the Cataracts, Marr passing ahead, Winger getting the pass, that's Drover passing in front, broken up and here come the Royals 
King. Passing over. There's the shot. Dixay Barrett. Rebound in the corner. And for the Cataracts, they get it ahead to center. One on three. The trailer just couldn't get a handle on it. That was Coffey. Behind the goal, Coffey couldn't corral it. It's swiped to an open wing. Hole. Trying to find the forward behind the goal. Coffey tied up and puck comes out to set a rice. Got into the Royal zone and that's icing against the cataracts. They got to be cognizant of that set of ice uh, stripe because a couple of times in the last few moments, guilty of icing infractions when really there wasn't any need. Less than five minutes to go in this first period. Two nothing. Cornerbrook leading. Face off to the right of Barrett. And from the face off. Chopped into the corner and is up behind the net for the Royals. King passing back to the point. Cross ice pass to Alibi. In and around the goal. King. For the Royals, back to Fabiatrich and smothered by Barrett. So that will result in another face-off. And the Cataracts decide to change them up. By the way, Cataracts are on the ice tomorrow afternoon in Stephenville. And that game at the Stephenville Dome is at 1.30. Royals are on the road next weekend in Grand Falls, Windsor for a pair, Saturday and Sunday. And here come the Cataracts. Maybe an odd man rush here as they hit the Royals' blue line. Puck in the corner, passed around. And they do a cycle, centered, broken up. Again, the Cataracts with possession, putting pressure on the Royals. Burn passing behind the goal. Passed around. And the Royals will clear it out. King wheels away and shoots it in and heads to the bench on a line change. It's centered. Opportunity. Parrot's going to smother and play his call. So that enables both teams to complete their line changes with 3.51 to go in this first period. Hope you're enjoying this McCube Productions of the Central West Senior Hockey League on AO Live from the Civic Center in Cornerbrook. And those that are Newfoundlanders watching from afar, and I know you are, welcome aboard. And I hope you're enjoying this broadcast. Cataracts at center ice, shooting it into the Royal Zone. That's more like it, crossing center. So it's not icing as they press. They got an opportunity here. Oh, nice stick work there by the Royals to get it out of harm's way. And it's shot into the corner, comes out in front. And Barrett smothers the play his call. That play just then, that's what you call home ice advantage. Knew where to put the puck into that corner and have it come out in front of the net. Every rink's got them. You just, just let the home team practice it so much, they know where they are, the nuances. Face off to the left of the Cataracts goal. And from the face off, in the corner, shot around the goal. As the Cataracts are trying to clear it out. Pass back. Here come the Cataracts on the left wing. Grover passing ahead for Mar. Mar. Back to the point, one-timer fanned on it. And it's backhanded into Royals territory by Gale. Came out the center, Royals picking it up, broken up. And the Cataracts again, off the boards. Guy hit the linesman with his attempt. Freak, he's gonna get the gate. As soon as the Royals touch it, he's going to go off for hooking at 17-27. And for the Cataracts, 
their second power play of the night. So, Freak for hooking. Face off to the left of the corner for goal. Opportunity knocking for the cataracts to try and make this a one goal game in the latter stages of this first period. And from the face off, cataracts control it. Wicks pass intercepted. Here come the Royals breaking out two on two. Short handed. Shot. That's wide of the goal. And it came all the way out to center ice. Applin will dump it right back into the cataract zone. Four checking for the uh, Royals was uh, House. And it's out to center ice. Here come the cataracts. On the power play. 1.28 to go with the man advantage. Less than two minutes in the first period. Remains on the clock. Shot. That hits a stick. It's in front. The shot. And, oh, what a save by House. Bang, bang, play. And House came up large for the Royals. 119 left in the freak penalty for Quinterbrook. 152 left in this period. And from the faceoff, Fitzgerald winning it. Here's the shot. That's just wide of the goal. They score! Came off the backboards from the point shot, and it was shoveled into the net by the Cataracts at 18-16. Power play goal, and it's a 2-1 game. So getting the goal for the Cataracts was Grover. With the man advantage. Big goal for the Cataracts in the dying stages of this opening period. See if they can build on some momentum they've garnered. That shot down the ice. Is that icing? No. R and Fitzgerald will get the assist on that cataract goal. Power play marker. Here they come again. Opportunity oh, stopped in the slot area. And the Royals feeling the heat from the cataracts here with a minute to go in this period. Barrett making the save. And again a save. Again a save. Three opportunities for the Royals. Another shot. That's off a stick. King behind the net, trying to center it. Broke it up. Shot, that's wide. Cataracts, in desperation, get it out to center ice. They don't want the Royals to get a late goal here. Alibi shot, blocker say big rebound all the way to the blue line. And the Cataracts just can't clear the zone. Royals pressing. It's out the center. Flip to an open wing with 15 seconds to go in this first period. Off the boards, out. Shot back in. Wide of the goal. That, well, they said it hit a stick. I thought it was icing. Off the boards and out. And down the ice. And that's going to be it. The first period is over. Entertaining first period. Led by the teddy bear toss, but on the scoreboard, it's the Cornerbrook Royals 2, the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 1. Let's recap that first period for you. Royals got on the board first, 345. Ant Hole for Jordan King and Smith, five minutes even. Colby House, unassisted. 1816, Cataracts, Grover from Marr and Fitzgerald on the power play. Penalties in that period. At 24 seconds, Graham Falls, Windsor, Hull, interference, 9.23, Fabiet holding for the Royals, 10.42, Cataracts, too many men on the ice, served by Pierce, 17.27, Freak for the Royals, holding. Check that, hooking, okay. Power plays in that first period, Royals over for two, 
the Cataracts one for two. The score after 20 minutes is the Cornerbrook Royals two, the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts one. We'll be back with our second period in a few moments. You are watching the Central West Senior Hockey League live on AO Live.
Back with our second period here at the Civic Center in Cornerbrook. The score, Cornerbrook Royals two, Grand Falls Windsor Cataract one. Recapping that first period briefly for the Royals, Antle from Jordan King and Smith at 345. Then they made it two nothing. Colby House unassisted at five minutes even. Then the Cataracts at 18-16. Grover from Barr and Fitzgerald on the power play. Power plays tonight so far. Cornerback Royals 0 for 2. The Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 1 for 2. Royals will defend the goal to our left at this time and the Cataracts to our right. Just a reminder about the Cataracts. They are playing tomorrow afternoon in Stephenville. 2-1, uh, 1.30 is the game time. Trying to get the uh, shots on goal. They say 24 to six. I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. <laughs> so we might ignore that snap for tonight. I know Barrett was busy, but not that busy. And I know House, I think it was busier than that. Here we go, second period. About to get underway and from the face off. Chopped in by the cataracts at the blue line, but it's out. And a lead pass on the wing for the Royals. In the corner, King trying to get it. He's checked. Still in the slot area. Again, a shot. Oh, what a save by Barrett. Man off the boring. And they say they're going to count. They say. seconds so the Royals get a 3-1 lead see who gets credit for their goal but they're saying that's a good goal Smith from Antall and that wild uh, play in front of the cataract's crease. And in the crease and in the net. So the cataract's trailing by two, putting on the pressure, deflection. That goes to one side. And here come the cataract's back to the point, the shot that's wide. Steered off the glass, but not out. Kept in by Winter. Passing around. Back to the point, over to Winter. Here he goes, wrist shot. Stick saved by House. And the cataract's pressing here. So much so, they're gonna try and make a line change. Here through the slot area into the corner, going after it for the cataracts. Steered around the goal. And out and down the ice, and that's icing. So unlike uh, the pros, teams can change during an icing call. And the faceoff will be to the uh, right of the corner of the zone. Well, they just did a count on the teddy bears. 1,500 collected. Great to see. And that will benefit both the uh, Quarterbrook uh, Fire Department's annual Christmas toy drive and the Salvation Army. So we get a face off to the uh, right of the Quarterbrook goal. And from the faceoff, Kaplan around Freak. Cross ice pass at center, broken up. Kaplan again off the boards into the cataract zone. It's cleared. Guy for the uh, Royals. Pushes the puck across the blue line, ends up behind the cataract's goal. Kaplan again, shot that's wide off the boards. And here come the cataracts. One on five as they're making a change. Shot 
Love by House. He'll hang on and play as called. And that enables both teams to make a change at 2.24 of this second period. Just to recap the standings briefly for you. Deer Lake Red Wings in first place. Six wins and a loss. 12 points. Royals are in second. Three wins, three losses, six points. Cataracts in third. One win, one loss. One overtime loss, three points. And the Stephenville Lightning, no wins, four losses, zero points. So Cataracts with lots of games in hand. They got two against the Royals next weekend in Grand Falls Windsor. And the Cataracts controlling play. Back to the point. Shot. That goes right off the goaltender house into the corner. And the Royals trying to control with a 3-1 lead. Intercepted. Two on three, shot, we just went off the trapper of house. Ends up behind the goal. As they scrum along the boards. Side of that in front, shot, they score! Grover with his second of the night. Johnny on the spot at three minutes even has once again made this a one goal game. Good things happen when you're in front of the net and the puck rolled to him and he was all alone and put it behind goaltender house. And we got a 3-2 game. Royals lead is back to one. So they give him bar and copy assist on that play. And the Cataracts who had a late power play goal in the first period. Lost that momentum very early when the Royals made it 3-1, but then uh, they're getting momentum back, trailing by one. And from the faceoff, here come the Royals at the point cross ice pass broken up. And here come the Cataracts. No, stop. Diligent point checking. Along the boards. Shot off a stick and around. They battle along the boards and it's across center ice. Three on three, drop pass. Into the slot area, off a stick, off the glass. Along the boards. In the corner, centered, but checked at the last moment was Deering. And the Cataracts, long lead pass, trying to catch the Royals on a line change. Here they go, two on one. And a nice defensive play there at the last moment by Allaby. Behind the net, Cataracts controlling, back to the point. Shot is blocked, and out come the Royals. Three on two. Going in on the wing to take the shot. Stopped by Barrett. Great opportunity there for Norbor Wells. And it's opening up here. Here come the Cataracts across the blue line. Trying to split the defense. Steer to one side. Centered and House taking no chances. Will pounce on it. And play is called. We get a get a pushing and shoving. And will it warrant penalties? No. Doesn't look like it. And changes are being made. 437 gone in the second period. Both teams have scored early with the Royals in this period, and the Royals leading three to two. From the faceoff, Cataracts controlling. Goes around the goal. Shot from the point. That's broken up. And out. Chasing after it for the Cataracts. Shooting it in was Dix. And here come the Royals. Lead pass, Freak at center. Crossing the balloon line on the left wing. Looking, tried to center it, intercepted. Lead pass, too far down the ice. Will it be icing? Yes. And we'll get a face off. Got to say, in all honesty, it's a great crowd here. Civic Center, I mean, the crowds get bigger and bigger after Christmas. I can't wait to see. I mean, fantastic crowd here at the Civic Center for a, a Saturday night in November. 
I mean, some fans have been grousy about last night's performance, but like I said to everybody, name me a team in Newfoundland hockey history that has won the Herder in November. Answer? None. After the puck went out of play, we'll get another face off to the right of the Cataract's goal. From the face off. Shot around the boards. Royals trying to press here. Puck got to the blue line. It's onside, but the Cataracts do get it out. Hunt colliding with Marr. Marr trying to center it. Broken up Hunt for the Royals. His pass at center intercepted. Marr again for the Cataracts. Off the boards. Hunt again being harassed. Gives it to the defenseman, Tabiachi. And close quarters. Puck comes free. Tipped to the Cataract's blue line. Between the blue lines, it's been rather close in the early go. Both, both teams starting to change them up. And the Royals will clear the zone. On the left wing, three on two if they hurry. Pass off a skate. Out the center ice. And here's a break on the left wing going in. Pass, drop pass shot. And that went wide. Great opportunity there for Coffee and Drover. Behind the goal. Cataracts trying to cycle. Quarters are close. Back to the point. Shot hits a skate. That was by. Uh, Wicks, and it goes down the ice, right on goal, no icing. Approaching seven minutes in this second period, Cornerbrook Royals three, Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts two. And here come the Cataracts. Once again, Coffey looking in front for a tip, but it didn't connect. Shot towards the corner, and the Royals will clear it high and out. Lost in the skates. Royals controlling, and here come the Cataracts. Three on three, pass through the slot area. Smith for the Royals. He scored in this second period. Drover was the goal scorer for the Cataracts here in this middle frame. Nice pass on the left wing. Steered to the slot area, but the Royals defense clear it out of harm's way. King for the Royals. Trying to pass back. The Royal defender went for a spill. Allaby. Ahead for Smith. King in the corner. Centering Smith. He scores! was a good bang bang play there Smith to Jordan King in the corner he finds Smith in the slot area and he bangs it home for a second of the period and the Royals once again regain a two goal advantage leading four to two nice goal from the face off got in came right out to the slot area and banked out. Leo said 701, I believe it was 801. Shot that's wide of the goal. Oh, sorry, blocked in front by Guy, I should say. And a lead pass. Everybody's over skating it. Goes back into the cataract zone. Pass over. And the Royals going to send in a four checker. Of course, the Cataracts on the issue. Crossing center, shooting it in around the goal. Along the boards. Edgar. He was looking for his line mate. On the cycle. Back to the point. Pierce to a shot blocker save into the netting and players call. So we played 9-0-1 of this second period. 4-2, Royals leading, 
There were three goals in the uh, first uh, period. And now we've had three in the second period. Marr will take the face off for the uh, Cataracts. And it was uh, Smith that's taking the face off for the uh, Royals. That's Josh Smith. Four Kings and two Smiths tonight in this game. Nice stick handling there. Shot. That's over. The net hit the glass. Marr with the opportunity. And the Royals will flip it out. Long pass picked up by Freak. Trying to go in on goal. Shot. Put it high and over the net. Centered. Play is called. I'm going to correct myself. I thought it was Freak. But it was Colburn that had that opportunity there. They do. They tuck their, uh, their sweaters. Get the... Uh, Scrunched up. The numbers get scrunched up on me. <laughs> Anyways. Face off to the left of the Cataracts goal. And the corner. It's cleared out to center ice as we approach the midway mark of the second period. Here comes Hunt. Steered into the corner. There's the Cataracts who control. And they'll bring it out. Long pass at center. Tipped into the Cataract zone by Winter. Shot down the ice by the Royals. That is icing. And play is called. Cordoba Royals' next games will be next weekend in Grand Falls Windsor. Saturday, December 2nd at 7.30, and Sunday, December 3rd at 1.30. The Cataracts next game tomorrow afternoon in Stephenville at 1.30. From the faceoff. Well, bouncing puck picked up, and all going after it. Scores! <laughs> Kept bouncing around and bouncing around. Antol was able to corral it and break it all alone on Barrett and score. Andrew Antol at 10:29, and it's five to two Royals. Offside, Cadrick. All right, they say it was unassisted. Fifty-fifty draws nearing three thousand dollars. Why? You got your hands in your pockets. Here come the Royals, one on one. There's a trailer. And oh, oh, that was stopped by Barrett. Bounced into the corner, so Adel almost had the hat trick. Here come the Cataracts, three on three. Drop pass, shot off a stick into the netting, and play is called. Adel, I believe, uh, got things going for the Royals. That led to the teddy bear toss at 3.45 of the first period. And he picks up his second here at 10.29 of the second period. From the faceoff, Guy. Passing ahead. Dormore Smith, his pass. Picked up by King, going towards goal on Barrett. They jam it in, score! <laughs> Seconds. 
seconds, the Royals have broken this one open with a four goal lead at six to two. Good things happen when you go to the net, and that's what just happened for the Cornerbrook Royals to go up by four. House. From King and Normore Wells. Like I said, the Royals. Bing, bang, boom. 801, Smith, 1029, Antle, 1116, House. Cataracts trying to get back into this. But out come the Royals on the right wing, broke it up. Fabiacic passing ahead, Freak to Colburn, to Freak, shot that's wide. Colburn intercepting towards goal, shot, score! <laughs> Seven to two Royals. And the Cataracts are gonna make a goaltending change as Tyler Whiffin comes in as the Royals have really poured it on here in three minutes and 47 seconds a four goal barrage. Didn't see that one coming, but it has happened. There's the call, Colburn from Brown at 11.49. So Whiffin now in goal for the Cataracts. And they cross the blue line going in towards goal. Steered, well, House stops it and it's cleared to one side. Puck behind the net. Swinging around a shot. That's stopped behind the goal. And they jam at it, it's free. But the Royals are gonna bring it out Colburn again, just dumps it into the cataract zone as the Royals start making a line change. And with it, they're jamming at it. Referee can see the pockets in the corner. You ask why, wasn't there a whistle? Hey, I couldn't see the puck, but if the referee can play, continue. Tipped into the Royal zone. Funny how... Uh, <laughs> 24 hours can make a difference to a hockey team. The Royals were getting spanked 7-2 by Deer Lake, and now they enjoy a 7-2 lead tonight. And they're putting on the pressure. Whiff it again, a shot. Back to the point. Pass into the slot area, broken up. Royals controlling. Off the boards, behind the net. And where is it? It's in the face-off circle, shot down the ice, and that'll be icing against the Cataracts as they will try and regroup. I don't think they expected this. Uh, it, it, it all unraveled for them at 8.01, Smith, 10.29, Antle, 11.16, House, and 11.48, Colburn. And the Royals have both scored the Cataracts 5-1 in the second period. Here come the Cataracts. On the right wing at center ice. Shot off the glass. Bouncing into the corner. Centered in front. Shot. House the save. Rebound. Guy for the Royals. He'll pass ahead. And it's into the Cataract zone. Shot, stopped by Whiffin. Pad saved there. Another shot, that's off the glass. Fabiacic with it. And Guy at his own blue line. Over to Fabiacic, he'll shoot it in to the uh, cataract zone, Whiffin. Passing, cataracts trying to clear it out. 
But the Royals, Patty Atrich keeps it in. In the circle. Center shot. That's blocked in front. Another shot. They score! Second of the period, third of the game, he's got the hat trick. 14 Oh, they're going to give it to Colburn. Okay. Okay, I was wrong about that. So Colburn gets it from Normore Wells and Smith at 1436. Five goals for the Royals now. And a span of six minutes and 35 seconds. Cataracts. Trying to stem the bleeding here. And they'll tip it into the Royal Zone. Center, shot right into the chest of House. And play is called. 4.50 left in the second period. And it's been all Royals. Now outscoring scoring the cat, uh, Cataract 6-1 to one in the second period. Believe it or not, this was just a 2-1 game in favor of the Royals after 20 minutes. They have certainly uh, opened the floodgates. Here come the Royals. The Freak. Shot. Sticks a big rebound. Colburn chasing after it, but Cataracts will clear the zone, and out they come on the left wing. In deep, behind the goal. Centered off a of skate, bouncing around in the slot area. And Colburn, crossing center, crossing the blue line, one on two. He sees the puck behind the goal. And the Cataracts, getting it out. Smith passing back. Another pass to Colburn, he tips it in. Chasing after it. Goes right to Whiffin, he'll glove it to his defenseman. And the Cataracts. Picked up by Marr. He stood up. Got it back. Marr in front. Broken up. Here comes shot deflection. Right to house. No rebound just went wide of the goal. And here come the Cataracts again. That was stopped by House. Edgar with the opportunity. Centered again. They score. I think Edgar's going to get credit for that one at 16, 28. And finally, the bleeding has stopped for the Cataracts. And it's an 8-3 to three game. So, Cataracts finally respond after the Royals have scored five unanswered goals. From the faceoff, Guy at his own blue line, passing back. Down into the cataract zone, that's icing. And play is call. Faceoff will come back to the right of the Cornerbrook goal. Anything can happen in senior hockey, folks, so See what happens. And the Cataracts narrow the gap. And they control the face off. They're behind. Puck is behind the goal. Steer to one side. Centered. Opportunity. Fed on the shot. Passes back to the point. 
Shot. Stick save. Rebound. Along the boards. And not out. Kept in by Grover. So it's Edgar from Wicks and Champion with the goal, and the Royals are going to be short-handed at 17-10, a tripping call, and getting the gate for the Royals will be Ryan, and for the Cataracts, the third power play of the night, they're one for two. Opportunity knocking here for the Cataracts. And they're going to control. Wicks. Passing over. Fitzgerald into the corner for Drover. Here towards goal. Behind the net. Drover. Check that. That was uh, Coffey. Passing over to his line mate. Coffee again in the corner. Passing into the corner for Drover to Coffee. Behind the goal. Cataracts controlling on the power play. As it's going for a skate. Fitzgerald to the point one timer. House got a piece of that one. Drover. Behind the goal, centered, broken up by Guy. Again, cataracts controlling, one minute left in the power play. Behind the net and around. Back to Marr. Steering towards goal, elects the pass back to the defenseman. Wrist shot, loose in front. They steered to one side by Guy. Back to the point to Wicks. Cross ice pass, cross ice pass. Shot, blocked, steered towards goal. Loose in front, they jam at it. Referee lost sight of the puck, play is called. 121 left in the period, second period, 31 seconds left in the Royals. Penalty to Ryan. And the Royals up eight to three. Both teams. Making some changes. Latter stages of the power play and of the period. From the faceoff. Comes back to the point. Shot in by Deering. Pass. No, oh, Lexus scores! I believe that was Edgar's second of the period at 18.52, and the Cataracts get their fourth of the night, and now they've scored two unanswered goals. Power play goal, and the Cataracts are now two for three with the man advantage. Well, there's one bright spot for them. Eight to four the score now. Dixon the play, the and champion with the assist on Edgar's goal. Here come the Cataracts again, but the Royals get possession and clear it out. Center ice shooting it in with 44 seconds to go in the period. Steer it around the goal. Edgar with a late brace here. Shot stopped by Whiffin. Another opportunity goes to one side. So Edgar with a brace here for the Cataracts, giving them some hope for the third period. And with it again, Smothers and play is called. So you had Edgar from Wicks and Champion at 1628. Then you had Edgar from Dix and Champion at 1852, and that was a power play marker. So the Royals scored 
five unanswered goals here in the second period. And like I said, the Cataracts have responded with a brace. Twenty-three point three seconds left in the second period, and from the faceoff, God has blocked it. Here come the Cataracts, three on two on that rush. Dying seconds, second period. Drop pass towards goal off a of skate into the corner. Fired through the slot area, cleared out down the ice. Five seconds to go towards goal. Whiffin just shovels it ahead. That's it. The period is over. And 40 minutes expired in this second period. The score, Cornerbrook Royals 8, Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 4. Let's recap that second period for you. Royals led 2-1. They made it 3-1 at 24 seconds. Smith from Antle. Then at three minutes, even Cataracts. It's a 3-2 game. Drover from Mar and Coffey. Then the Royals broke it open with five unanswered goals. 8.01, Smith from Jordan King. 10.29, Antle unassisted. 11.16, House from Nathan King and Normore Wells. 11.48, Colburn from Brown. 14.36, Colburn from Normore Wells and Smith. Then the Cataracts get a brace. 16.28, Edgar from Wicks and Champion. 18.52, Edgar from Dixon champion on the power play. Just one penalty in that period. 17.10, Cornerbrook Ryan tripping. Cataracts scored, and the Cataracts are now two for three with the man advantage. The Royals are 0 for two, I believe. Just check my stats from the first period. Yes, 0 for two. So the score after two periods of play. Cornerbrook Royals 8, Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 4. We'll be back with our third period in a few moments after this intermission has been completed. So we'll see you later.
Back at the Civic Center in Cornerbrook. Just about ready to get our third period underway. Cornerbrook Royals leading. The Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts by a score of eight to four. Reminder, the Cataracts are playing tomorrow afternoon in Stephenville against the Lightning. That game at the Stephenville Dome is at 1.30. Now, the Royals next weekend will be in Grand Falls Windsor to take on the Cataracts. Those games will be Saturday, December 2nd at 7.30, and Sunday, December 3rd at 1.30. Now, the Royals' next home game, mark it down on your calendar, because it's going to be on old Christmas Day. That's right, Saturday, January the 6th at 7.30 here at the Civic Center, the Cornerbrook Royals will take on the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts. Well, we got some players that are working towards a hat trick, but see if they get them for the, uh, or get one, maybe, for the Cornerbrook Royals. We've got Antle with a pair of goals, Smith with a pair of goals, and Colburn with a pair of goals, House with a pair of goals, and two, four. Yeah, there you go. Colburn with two, Smith with two. Handle with two. Everybody's got a brace tonight in the house with two. And for the cataracts, you got Edgar with uh, a brace. You got them late in the uh, second period. And so he's working his way towards a hat trick. And Grover has got two. So everybody, oh, I don't know. Everybody's getting braces tonight. Didn't know the rabbits were running. But there you go. So, let's see what happens. And this third period, and somebody knocked a hat trick. There's so many of them at two goals. 12 goals scored, divided by two, that means six players. Four on the Royals, two on the Cataracts. Cataracts defend the goal to our right, Royals to our left. Waiting for one more player to make his way on the ice. Towards center ice. King out there for the Royals to take the face off, and he's going to be waved out because he was tardy. And Smith will take the face off for the uh, Royals. And the Cataracts shooting it in. They got momentum a bit on their side with two late goals in the second period. And. If they can duplicate the feet of the uh, Royals, we might be in for a heck of a finish as the Royals scored five unanswered goals in that second period. But the Cataracts have responded with two of their own. Face off to the left of Whiffen, who's between the pipes for the uh, Cataracts. Came in the second period. And the puck comes up the center. Shot in by Allaby. Stopped behind the goal for Whiffen. He gave it to his defenseman, Wicks. Passing on the left wing. Here come the Cataracts. Heading towards goal. Shot. Ooh, that was a stick save. The short part of the stick there by House. Not the, not the fat part of the goal stick. That's the shaft. Back inside the Royals blue line. Well, Cataracts making changes on the fly. The Royals would like to steer towards goal. Backhander stopped by Whiffen twice. He'll hang on. And play is called. Just underway in this third period. Hoping you're enjoying this presentation of the Central West Senior Hockey League from the Civic Center in Quinnebrook. I'm Chris Green. And joining me, Ewan McHugh of McHugh Productions. He's providing you with the uh, video presentation of this game from the faceoff. Cataracts controlling. And here they go on the, well, through the middle at center ice. Trying to split the defense. Shot right on. House the same. So Cataracts trying to do to get back into this game with an early goal in this uh, third period to uh, lower their deficit. 
Out the center. Shot in by Travis Gale. Ends up the Royals trying to move it out along the right wing. Again, three, well, cleared out the center. And shot right back in by Winter. Cataracts changing, Royals trying to make some changes. They're gonna hang on behind the net and wait till everybody has completed their changes. Clean pass at center, tipped in by Nathan King. Pass ahead, here come the Cataracts. On the left wing, in the slot, shot. House got a pat on that. Rebound in the corner. Behind the goal, in the circle. Again, passing behind the net. Here come the Cataracts, it's smothered. And play is called. So the Cataracts pressing here in the early go. 2.35 gone in this third period. Royals up eight to four. Royals fall asleep. The Cataracts will pounce on it. Make no mistake. From the faceoff. Cataract shot right on. House loves it. He's going to hang on. And we'll get another faceoff in the Royal zone. And from the faceoff, it's the Royals who will bring it out on the right wing at center ice. Colburn chasing after it. He's got two goals tonight. Looking for number three. Puck is three to Colburn. Steered it towards the slot area. Intercepted and out. Brown shooting it back into the uh, cataract zone. And the cataracts around the goal. Lead pass at center ice. Long shot off the end boys. Came right out in front. Whoa, and all the way out to the blue line. And here come the Royals. Two on three on four. King behind the goal. Tied up. Out come the Cataracts. Trying to make it an odd man rush here. Dick save. Steered to one side by the goaltender house. And the Royals will shoot it back in. This just suits the Royals fine. Dump and chase with a four goal lead. And out comes the Cataracts. Shooting it in. Lead pass, hits a stick. Steer it out the center. And a pass back. Gillum shot it ahead. Into the corner, King. Jordan King behind the goal, trying to center it. It's intercepted, and the Cataract will bring it out. At center, crossing the blue line, going in towards goal, shot right on, rebound. It's steered, and we're going to get a penalty as uh, Grover was being harassed, and the Royals are going to be short-handed at 446, getting the gate will be Gillum, the defenseman. He goes off. For the Cataracts, it's their fourth power play of the night, and they have been an efficient two for three, so they've got an opportunity here to try to make it three for four. Right. They're announcing some prize draws here. I keep quiet for the 50-50 draw. That's where the quid is, and that's where my tickets are. Here are the Cataracts on the power play. Shot, that's wide of the goal. Hanging on to it is Drover. And another penalty coming up to the Royals. They're gonna be two men short. And smart move there by Drover. Let the Royal player touch it. And a holding call now. 
to uh, the Royals. Make the point in this case of the referee, but it is a trip. And Alibi, another defenseman, is off at 5.07. So Cataracts with a two-man advantage here. Opportunity is knocking, and let's see if the Royals can shut the door. And from the faceoff, Cataracts controlling. Well, they called slashing against Gillum. They haven't announced the Alibi penalty yet. And here come the Cataracts with the five on three advantage. And it's going to be shot down the ice by the Royals. So it's two slashing calls against the Royals. Here come the Cataracts. Setting up for the five on three man advantage. There's the shot. That's stick to one side on a deflection. And again, the Royals shooting it down the ice. 50 seconds left in penalty number one. 111 left in penalty number two. Here goes Marr for the Cataracts on the right wing with a lot of ice. Crosses the Royals' blue line. Marr behind the goal, hanging on. Overskates it. Got it back. Center scores! Coffee scoring for the Cataracts at 614 from Marr on the power play. And the Cataracts with the man advantage. Three for four. And three other five goals with the man advantage. Still 53 seconds left in the Alibi penalty. And it's an 8 5 game. Our rest goals to the number 41, Jonathan Coffey. Assist number 10, Jordan Marr. Time the goal, 6 14. And here come the Cataracts again. Shooting it into the Royal Zone. Steered around, but not out. Here's the shot, right on, rebound, big one. Shot right out, oh, it went wide of the goal, off the boards and out. Going back around his goal for the Cataract was Pierce, ends up behind the Cataract's net. 12 seconds left in the Royals' penalty. Cataract's, oh, it's intercepted, but failing to connect with Freak. So the Cataracts leaving the puck there. Nobody home. Here come the Royals. Shot right on. And play is called. Penalty has expired. The Cataracts now three for five with the man advantage. And the Royals scored five unanswered goals to break it open at eight to two. But it's the Cataracts who have stormed back with three of their own. And it's an eight five game. From the faceoff. Royals with a long shot. And it's off the uh, end boards. Again, behind the net, trying to center it. It is, but the Cataracts shovel it to the blue line and out, and they break out on the right side. Pass broken up. Here comes Smith for the uh, Royals. Passing to King. He's checked off the puck by Drover. And the Cataracts come out three on two. Odd man rush. They're centered towards goal, blocked in front. And it's flipped high and chasing after it. Shot right on, stick save. As Allaby had the opportunity there, and here come the Cataracts. Back and forth they go. Back to the point, too far out of the reach of the Cataract defenseman, Gale. Normar Wells going for a skate inside his own blue line. Passing ahead. Passing over too far into the corner. 
And trying to move it, but not out. Here's the shot by Guy. That's blocked. Got it again. Passing around. Looking for a line mate. Nathan King. He's tied up in the corner. Off the boards. But Guy will keep it in the zone. It banks it around the boards. It's behind the Cataract's goal. Oh, try and exit the zone on the uh, left wing. Puck at center. And it's shot in. Steered to one side by the Cataract's goaltender, Whiffen. And the Cataracts are going to break out two on three. Trying to make a, an even man rush, and they do. Shot. Stick saved by House. Steered to one side. Back to the point. Shot deflection in front. Broken up. Another attempt. Uh, it has to be passed back inside the Cataract's blue line. Approaching the midway mark of this third period. And the score. Quarterback Royals 8. Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 5. Shot into the Royal zone. Off the boards. And Colburn spun around. Broken up. And ahead. Good couple of hits by both teams right now. And we're going to have a fight here. And not much of a fight. We'll see if they do, if the referee says this is a five minute major or we'll see uh, sometimes you get four for roughing in a 10 minute misconduct and they are just under the wire 956 time of the penalties if it was four seconds later guy for the royals edgar for the cataracts i do believe no nope, that's not guy he just went to the bench uh, Edgar for the Cataract and Applin for the uh, Royal, I do believe. And all this happening at 9.56, they're only going to the penalty box. They weren't ejected. And the story of this was if they were major and it was four more seconds, it would have been a uh, suspension of the next game. Well, they only got Edgar posted up there. So he gets the gate for roughing. Royals on the um, power play. And the Royals tonight, 0 for 2 with the uh, man of that age. It's the third power play. They face off at the blue line to the Cataract bench, and we'll get another whistle. As the play, 146 left in the Royals' power play. 10 minutes, 10 seconds gone in this third period. Cataracts with the only goal in this third period. Coffee on the power play at 614. And puck comes out the center. Guy inside his own blue line. Cross ice pass inside the blue line. Trying to move it. On the uh, right wing was Al Alibi, and he was checked. Guy inside his own blue line. Behind the net. Waiting for the Royals to... Break out on the right wing. King crossing the blue line. Passing over to King. Tips it towards goal. Whiff in the save. Comes back to Guy. Into the corner. In front. Broken up. Again, controlled by Antle. Back to the point. Alibi shot right on. And it's a bad save. And play is called. Oh, here we go. Most. Three thousand one hundred ninety-three. Here we go. One, five, one, six, five. Once again, three thousand one ninety-three. If you have ticket number one, five, one, six, five. Must have been an early buyer because my tickets are in the twos, like two, one. 
oh something something. Gee whiz, I wasn't even close. Guy, back at his own blue line, gets a pass back. Colburn to Guy. Allaby, shot deflected off the end glass. Another shot, that's blocked in front. 30 seconds left in the power play. Controlled by the Royals. Back to the point, Allaby. No, Guy to Allaby. Cross ice, shot. I think Whiff got a piece of that one. Allaby, back to Guy. Hanging on, passing. Back to Guy. To Allaby. Into the corner. Colburn looking for the pass. Broken up. Cataracts at full strength. Allaby is checked. Off the puck by the player coming out of the penalty box. Edgar. He'll chase after it. He's checked by Guy in the corner. Once again, the number 155165. Pass over shot. That's just wide of the goal. Cataracts with a great opportunity there. And make it a two-goal game. Centered. Broken up. Normar Wells. He's going to ice the puck. And play is called. Well, the Cataracts have had their opportunities to try and plot their way back into this one. Seven twenty-eight to go, and time now starting to become a factor for the Cataracts. From the faceoff, the Royals will clear it ahead. Trying to go in, split the defense, a shot, and a penalty's coming up to the Cataracts for slashing. As the Royals player taking the hack by King and getting the gate at 12.41 is Gale. Slashing is the call. And the Royals with their fourth power play of the night. They're all for three. From the faceoff, shot down the ice by the Cataracts. And the Royals are going to try and bring it out on the left wing. They elect the right side down. Cross ice pass in the neutral zone. Got the, into the corner and cleared down the ice. 130 left in the Royals power play. Cataracts making some changes with their penalty collect units. And here come the Royals at center ice. Shot in. Steered to the slot area, but it's broken up. Well, the 50-50 has been won. Royals with possession. Allaby. Backhand pass into the corner for King. Steered around. Center deflection. Nice save by Whiffen. Back to the point. Shot. That's blocked in front. And Whiffen's going to dive out and smother. And play is called. 46 seconds left in the Royals' power play. 6.05 left in the third period. And the Royals trying to get two points in the standings with this three goal lead. Cataracts tomorrow afternoon in Stephenville. 1 30 is game time at the Stephenville Dome. Face off to the right of the Cataracts goal. And from the face off, Normore Wells. Looking for Freak. Comes back to Guy. Passing over. Getting a return pass. Normar Wells. Looking for Colburn in front. Broken up. Colburn. Back to the point. Mm, didn't get good wood on that. That was Alibi or, <laughs> or good compost. <laughs> 
Again, Alibi passing. Penalty just about expired. Shot by Colburn. That's wide. Guy looking behind the net for a freak. Cataracts back at full strength. And they pass ahead. Here go the Cataracts on the wing. Deering knocked off the puck. Here towards the slot area. Five minutes to go. And here come the Royals. Hunt. Tied up. Ryan. He's checked off the puck. Lead pass at center. Intercepted. Shot in. By Clay King. Comes out. Thought it did, but no. Royals keep, keep pressing. Ryan to Hunt. Back to the point. Applin. Cross ice pass. Shot right on. Whiffing the save. Back to Applin. Deflection. That just went wide. As the Royals doing a diligent job of forechecking here to not let the Cataracts get any opportunities. And we got an icing call against the Cataracts. That's the only way they could make a line change. So a good job of forechecking by the Cornerbrook Royals in this uh, latter part of the third period. Face off to the left of Witt. And Normore Wells trying to jam at it. Whiff and denies them. And the puck comes up the center ice. Makes that home team bounce and ends up in the slot area. Saw that earlier tonight. Here comes Barr. Goes into the corner, centers it, but House had to be sharp there. As that was too close for comfort for him on a centering pass. And that's icing against the Royals. So the clock is winding down. Three minutes, 27 seconds to go. And the Royals looking for their victory and, a, and trying to get a split from this weekend. Cataracts trying to uh, get this into a two goal game and see what happens. And from the face off. Cataract pressing here. Back to the point. Marr shot. That hit a leg. Again, controlled by the Cataracts. Passes deflected to one side. Comes out in front. Backhanded. Out of harm's way. Marr being harassed by two Royals. And it's King. Keeping the puck in the zone. By the way, swing the cataracts. Do they have an odd man rush here? No. Royals are back, but they got a chance. Shot right on. Rebound, they score! Hold on to your heads, folks. 17-13, time of the goal. And it's an 8-6 game. The Cataracts have now scored four unanswered goals on their own. And see so who gets credit for the Cataracts on that. But it's an 8 6 game. We'll keep an eye on Whiffin. Oh, and a 
gave it to the king. All right. So, King from Smith and Jones at 1722, and the Royals lead once again restored to three as they stop the their bleeding. They had given up four in a row. And here come the cataracts with two minutes to go. Puck in the corner. Jammed at it. Back to the point. Shot. Another shot pad saved by House. Banked off the boards looking for King. Icing. Play is called. 136 to go. And the Cataracts with a glorious opportunity at 17-23. As Sims scored from Grover. Only to be denied. Just nine seconds later, King from Smith and Jones. 9-6, Royals leading. And from the faceoff. Won by the Cataracts, but it comes out to uh, center ice. Broken up, here's Colburn. Does he have the hat trick? No, stopped and denied by Whiffin. Brown. Backhands the puck into the uh, Cataract zone. Broken up at center, shot right back in by Freak. Around the boards. Behind the net, the Cataracts trying to move it out. Broken up again by the Royals, doing a good Less job for checking. Less than a minute to go in this third period. Royals firing it around the boards and out down the ice, and that is going to be icing. Or not? No. Nope. One linesman had his arm up, but nope. And we got a, the Cataracts on the left wing, heading towards goal, shot. That's a blocker saved by House on the shot by Drover. He was looking for the hat trick. Here come Royals just eased into the Cataract zone with 25 seconds left. And pass over. Pierce. Giving it to his line mate, Jewer. Long pass. Centered, broke it up. Five seconds to go. That is it. The game is over. And the final score the Quarterbrook Royals, nine. The Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts, six. Let's recap that. Uh, Third period for you uh, as the uh, Royals led eight to four after two, and the Cataracts scored at 614. Coffee from Marr, and then it was Sims from Grover for the Cataracts at 1713, making it interesting at 8 6 as the Cataracts have scored four unanswered goals, but the Royals stand the bleeding just nine seconds later at 17.22, King from Smith and Jones. Penalty for that period at 4.46, Cornerbrook Gillum, two minutes for slashing. 5.07, Cornerbrook Allenby, two minutes for slashing. 9.56, Graham Falls, Windsor, Edgar, two minutes for roughing. 12.41, Gale for the Cataracts, two minutes for slashing. Power plays on the night. Grand Falls Winter Cataract, 3 for 5. Cornerbrook Royals, 0 for 4. So the Royals are now 4 wins, 3 losses, and have 8 points. And the Cataracts, 1 win, 2 losses, 1 overtime loss for uh, 3 points. Grand Falls Winter Cataracts are in Stephenville tomorrow. 1.30 is the game time at the Stephenville Dome. Cataracts and the Lightning. Next weekend, Cornerbrook Royals are on the road. Two games in Grand Falls, Windsor. They will be at uh, Saturday, December the 2nd, 7.30.
and Sunday, December 3rd at 1.30. The Royals' next home game here at the Civic Center, 7.30, mark it down, old Christmas day or old Christmas night, Saturday, January the 6th against the same Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts. Final score once again, Cornerbrook Royals 9, Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts 6. On behalf of you and the queue, I'm Chris Green. Good night from the Civic Center in Quarterbrook.